Shalom, Yashala. Peace be to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom, La Bachayarim, Shal Yashala. Peace be to the elect. Of the nation of Israel, which the election of the nation of Israel consists of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those Israelite foreigners who are likened onto the speckled bird that have been scattered through the various four winds through the various countries, whom nation or nationality actually go back to the nation of Israel by the way of their fathers. Going back to one of the 12 sons of, of Israel, right, which is 12 tribes of Jacob, or known as 12 tribes of Israel. And of course to you, uh, the elect, which is the 144,000, and the rest of the one-third, which are men, women, and children of the one-third, and the 144,000 are all men, which are prophets, which will receive the Thawah, which is the mark of exemption, through the words of hearing Yahweh, what Yahweh Shai, the words the Bible and will receive their salvation and exemption from judgment, which is imminent. So you say Shalom wa Kalaim La Alahaina Yahweh Bashim Yashab Shakodash all praises to our power, which is Yahweh, his name, the most high Yahweh. Which means he is as he exists. And you have his son, his only begotten son, which is Yahweh Shai, his name in the Paleo Hebrew, which means he the deliverer, he salvation, or he the savior. You have, of course, by Hashem meaning in the name of Chab means spirit, Kodash is holy, which I utter in the Paleo Hebrew, which language has been returned back onto us Hebrew Israelites. Of course, uh, double honors to the elders and apostles, like Great Millstone, who well, Shane Kaba, La Shala Yachim Nawa, who was a Konyam Nawa, Shal Yasha Allah, by Aith, or, or God Walla, or Kab, by Aith, all right, which gave double honors to our. Our apostles and our elders of Israel, which are a great millstone in these times. Also, peace and salutations to the Sinshiachim wa Akwathium, the brothers and sisters which are listening, which it means to obey the words of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, working out their salvation in fear and trembling. Shemiah Mapa, my name is Mapa, Mayan from the great millstone, God will never come, Machana, great, uh, great millstone uh, camp. Uh, here in Philadelphia, Plain Tables Camp specifically, uh, coming again with another Lamadium Ma'ait, which is a teaching, a little teaching, or teaching little, by Racha Kodash and the Holy Spirit, my Amath of Truth. You have it here, a new robot soldier obsolete, or, or new, it actually reads, a new robot makes soldiers obsolete. And you have this as an actual video. Which, when you go and do the um, slot here, when you go into the actual research, you had uh, this video was created by this company, which I can look them up, but Corridor Crew, or um, it seems as they have, uh, they do and specialize within computer graphics. And such, and they made an actual video using forms of computer graphics and special effects to um, show uh, this robot, which you do have a a company called Boston Dynamics, which have been creating various robots which have abilities and powers. Which many have doubted would be possible, but now are possible through, of course, the Lord giving Esau Edom that power and that mind to be able to create these things. And now, because these things are created, these things are going to be used for the judgments on this earth. Which primarily will be for the Israelites, two thirds of the Israelites, which are going to get cut off and die in the coming race wars and all the different plagues in which the Lord is going to bring to this earth. All right, which we're going to start off with a scripture, and the rest is going to be this is all through the Spirit. We have this in the book of 
Jeremiah chapter thirty and I'm gonna start here at um actually you know what? This is Revelation chapter eight, I believe possibly. Let me see if it's eight or six actually, probably six. Alright, Revelation chapter six. And it reads here in the It says, And there went out another horse that was red and was power and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another and there was given unto him a great kharab which is a great sword and that man that 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 horse which is a horse represents power as red which is esau edom is talking about and he, of course, got power to take peace from the earth. Shalom, Mayan uh, Ha Aratazah, from the earth, all the earth. And he is the the sword, as you when you learn in the book of Psalms. Psalms chapter, I believe it's seventeen. In 13, it says, Arise, okay, Yahweh, disappoint him and cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Okay, so we want, of course, the Lord to disappoint the different uh, thoughts of the wicked. The crafty thoughts in which, as you see, they have many forms of them. In the forms of the different technology, which is a blessing and the miracles. Which Satan has, okay, the spiritual counterpart for, or the, the physical counterpart for the spiritual demon Satan is Esau, Edom on earth. You have this re robot, which when you check it out, this robot is able to do all sorts of various things. Which, uh, let me see, I can try to play the video a little bit. Like I said, this is CGI. Okay, when you go into it, but they do have um, they have robots that have this uh, this capability. Which when you check out the Boston Dynamics company, they they're uh, pushing for, towards that. They already have it pretty much. You know, they're just gonna keep on furthering and um, increasing it. So you, you see it as it shot. It, it, it didn't, it was able to recognize um, whom to shoot, okay, so it will be programmed and such. Today, day, these things are due, whatever it's programmed to, as a target to attack, or nay, to attack. So you had it here, and you had an actual man here, and you had an actual, what look, appears to be a man, but actual dummy. And he was able to recognize, authenticate whom was actual man and whom was actual dummy. Right? And that, of course, just the different technological feats which he saw either was granted. Okay, which, uh, when you go into the miracles, let me see, uh, miracles. Get a scripture real quick. It's a different blessing of being a sword. Also, the Lord gave him the different abilities but due to technology. Miracles. Which, this is a form of a miracle. Obviously, due to technology, he can make... Do different forms of witchcraft visually. And makes things that uh, appear... And... Need to be true. Okay? Like, you have, you'll see this and be like, Oh, this kind of be true. But it actually is true. Because even with this computer generated graphics that they did they actually you know outfit a man with a, a of course you go into the different body suits which have the different sensors and then they of course take that um, information from these various suits computer suits and then they do obviously with the different computer software they can of course 
make different visuals, which it was actual a man that was, um, would be playing as this robot here, okay, but they actually inserted a robot in the actual scene, but it actually when you go into it, do computer graphics, it, you know, really it was a man, but the actual robot that is actually, it does exist through Boston Dynamics, the company, in which as I have done, and other Akim have done videos um, of the Black Mirror episode, um, which uh, I have to look up the actual name of it again, um, let me see, Black Mirror, Yeah, Metal Heat or Metal Head episode. You had the actual Boston Dynamics robot they showed here. Um, see with various images in which it was searching out. And it had different um, abilities. The hunt is target. And it was ruthless in its hunt tactics. Technique executing It was ruthless Simple We put So You could check out that Metal heat in a, in a black mirror And this is the predictive Programming of Esau Edom It's predictive programming It reads here Is a recurring element Across many conspiracy theories um, let me see. Actually, I'm going to read this one. Slocky. It says, Predictive Program is a power suggesting using the media of fiction to create a desired outcome. Events which would otherwise be seen as the bizarre or conspiracy are embedded into movies. If you want to know the future, what the future is going to be, according to the... Let me see. They got it. Uh... Oh, this is New York War Order agenda, just opening your eyes. And you can just basically, yeah, you see it in the movies, okay? Yeah, you have it, Esau Edom with his um, agenda, his plan. He shows it before in the, the various media, which is just nothing but a medium, a middle between you have the people and the elite, okay? The elite on the left-hand side, which consider themselves to be illuminated, which they consider themselves to be light bearers, but they really they're wicked um, ones, which the Lord will take down. Okay, they're the secret council, as written in the Book of Psalms. I believe it's sixty-four chapter. Okay, so you can even see it right there within predictive program. You have Illuminati. It shows you there. Okay. So, this is this is certainly real, okay, when you go into it. The robots like this do, does exist. And you go into Boston, there's different articles you could check out. I've done lessons on it, Boston Dynamics, Robot. You have the different robots. Boston Dynamics, an American engineer robotics design company, which was founded back in 1992 as a spinoff of Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Boston Dynamics is wholly owned subsidiary of a Japanese conglomerate of the SoftBank Group. Okay, which you see, that's you go into is a Japanese multinational climate holding company headquarters in Tokyo. The company owns stakes in Softy Banks. All right, so you know the banks are all owned by the elite. So this is being fueled by the elites, pretty much. And you, know, you can check out this big dog, little dog, Cheetah. This is some of the different. Uh, Robots, they got Atlas, which this is be like here, and uh, a pet man humanoid robot designed for various, various search and rescue tasks. And you know, it's going to be searching for you, Israelites, and whom are what? First of all, you we Israelites are against 
and are well really the chief, chief targets for the actual uh, Edomites and then you have it beyond that the Lek is exactly whom the elite wants to take out and they're going to use these different their technologies to to come after us okay yeah, this is uh real quick. This is a uh, Revelation thirteen and or actually sixteen fourteen. It says for the, let me see, yeah, yeah, actually I'm gonna do thirteen fourteen. It says and deceive them that dwell on the earth by the means of the of those miracles, the technology which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, the beast being the EU. Uh, Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image unto the beast which had wound by the sword and did live. Right? So you have miracles as a blessing. The technology was a blessing that the Lord gave unto Esau, Edom, the sword. So he's more than capable to destroy, okay, and Jake with these different things. You have to check out uh, this video. Okay, you check out definitely the uh, different uh, Boston Dynamics videos where they show that Atlas bought Boston Dynamics. You check it out. There's different. Uh, what you see it there doing parkour, parkour, and free running. But you got different um, parkour and free running goes back to. Basically, a lot of, um, uh, you, I would say, like, fearless Jake, <laughs> and will jump and do these different acrobatic feats in style, flips, somersaults, etc., etc., okay, throughout the city, on, in urban areas, wherever they be, jumping building to building, so you have these robots, they can already do somersaults, Open doors, all sorts of tasks. Okay, they, you could check this out. They pick up objects. Obviously, you'll be able to shoot guns, all sorts of things. Okay, open, yeah, everything that you can think of and beyond that. And it's learn, obviously, you go into the it's do artificial intelligence, the AI, and that goes with the the different forms of machine learning, where they, of course, put these different machines. And to do different tasks and do it, of course, gaining experience trying it, it will learn what's best to do for each actual uh, situation they're in. And it learns off of that. And then, obviously, due to that being logged into the computer, you'll be able to effectively complete in the future more efficiently what it is they're trying to accomplish the actual final outcome okay so check out these different things the, the, uh, you know as you see Esau can do a lot of different things as I was mentioning they did all of this uh, this actual video that they did they have a s different videos and they um, use different special effects computer generated effects to put the robot, the Atlas robot, in there, which they use uh, outrigged a, a man with. When you go into it, as you will see, you got the different suits. Let's see if I could click it, if it work. Didn't work the right way, so. check it out I'm just trying to avoid copyright strikes so um, it's there just so you can check on your own so check it out they, they, they of course built all of the scene and filmed it all just show you how far Esau can go with this uh, technology all right but it is real okay so 
Um, we're gonna go to new uh, House of Power, the book of uh, that was at Jeremiah 30. And also, I want it. Let me see if I can get. Alright, so this is uh, the book of Revelation chapter um, 6 and 8. And it says, And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And his name that sat on him was Mawather, death, and Shawal, the grave, death, or, or hell, low state, also the grave, followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of, of the earth to kill with the sword and with hunger. And with death and with the beast of the earth. And this 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 horse here represents the Jacob trouble. This pale horse goes into this Jacob trouble. Okay, the destruction and such. Alright. We're gonna be filled with death, hell, alright, destruction. Okay. For Jake. Okay. This is uh Jeremiah at thirty and seven. Um, and it reads here, or actually I'm going to read um, starting at 5. It says, For thus said the Lord, Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and no, uh, not of peace. Ask ye know and see whether a man doth travail with child, whether or wherefore do, slakia, which means, excuse me, do I see Every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces turned into paleness, humbled. Okay. And this is going to the time of Jacob Tazara, which is going to go into it. It says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Even the time of Jacob's trouble, Jacob being the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, so-called niggas like Tuesday, America's his life foreigners. But he shall be saved out of it. The elect shall be saved out of it. Which we know the elect is going to be saved out of it because of this scripture here. It's the book of Zechariah chapter 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in the all the land said, said the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die here in America, right? And But... The third shall be left therein. And that's going to be the elect. Right? They're going to be left therein. Okay. And there's going to be other. There's, Jake going to get destroyed. All right. Uh, two thirds are going to cut off. Period. That's uh, going into about. Six, what is it? 66.6% percent. That is. And you have the rest of the. Um, what? 33%. Something. Roughly. I believe. 33.3. I have to go and check the pie chart. But. um. That's going to be remaining that one third, which that consists of the prophets Hanabiyah, one hundred forty-four thousand out of the twelve tribes of Israel, and twelve thousand from each tribe, and you have the rest of the number Motsu one third, which you read in the book of Revelations, the seventh chapter. Okay, which we'll get that real quick as well after I read this. It says, and I will bring the third part. Through the fire, and I will refine them as silver is refined, and I will trade them as gold is trade. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. And that's the elect is going to call upon in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, we remember in ourselves whom we are, and through that name, we have salvation and batak, our safety. And you have a magan, which is a shield, and a, a gunan, which is a, a cover or defense. Through, of course, the names of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Right, this is real quick. Let me get um. Let 
I got the Revelation 7. And it goes on and it says, it says here, Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds on the earth, that the wind shall not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. You know, that sea, of course, represents different. You have people, where you have the people and such. Read that Revelation uh, 17 chapter and such. Okay. Um. So you have the Revelation, I mean the Jeremiah 51, which tell you about this destructive wind, which is, this is Revelation, I mean Jeremiah 51 and 1, it says, And thus said the Lord, How behold, I will raise against Babylon, which is America, and against them that dwell in the midst of them, that dwell, that rise up against me, a destroying wind. This is going to be the nuclear destruction. Okay, and I will send Babylon, unto Babylon, fanners, shall fan her, and shall empty her line, for the day of trouble, they shall be round about her, round her about against him that beneath let the archer bend his bow against him that lifted himself in the brigantine, which I believe that goes into the armor, right? You got Sorayan, Sorayan, which is armor. But you can read in Joel. The book of Joel about this and such. And about the, they won't miss their mark. Okay. You can read also in the book of uh, Ezra and the Apocrypha. About uh, these uh, these missiles. These arrows. It's going to be shot in the ends of the world. And who can't turn them back. They can't be turned back. Alright. Which you read in the book of Second Ezra. The 16th chapter. It, it tells you about. Uh, I am. Woe unto Babylon and Asia, woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack in here. Be well your children and be sorry for your, your destruction is at hand. A sword is sent upon you and who may turn it back. A fire is sent among you and who may quench it. Plagues are sent unto you and who, what is he that may drive them away? Okay, you go, it goes into may one that turn in verse seven one, may one that turn, the the arrow that shot of a strong archer, the mighty Lord sendeth the plagues these curses, and who is he that can drive them away? You go into nuclear destruction, okay. Which um, now that's why all part is this this um, this Yaakov Tazara, all right. That ultimately being, you know, the the end game, fire and brimstone, fire from the chariots. I mean, uh, so called UFO, so called aerial phenomena, which is the angels coming back, right? Which Yahweh Shai is the chief angel, with of course the rest of the um, angels to deliver the elect, bring destruction to two thirds and the wicked, the Edomites, and the rest of the heathen. So it goes on and it tells you about uh, the different seals from the different 12 tribes of Israel okay Yahweh Sop or Joseph is speaking about Ephraim okay and you go on and it tells you here verse 7 and 9 it says and this is talking about that innumerable multitude it says after this I beheld a lower great multitude this is one third which no man could number of all nations, they're going to be Israelite foreigners out of all nations and kindreds, and people and tongues that stood before the throne and before the Lamb. Okay, Yahweh Shai, clothed with right robes and with palms in their hands, palms being the victory. Okay, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. Okay. So, uh, this is this that one third, okay. No multitude, the rest of the one forty four thousand. You have that there, okay. And it's only them that's going to be saved out of Jacob's trouble. The Lord is going to save them out of this coming destruction, okay. And we're going to get this other scripture. This is the book of Psalms uh, 35. And So 
Start at the top. It says here, uh, Psalm of Dawada, plead my cause, O Yahweh, with that with them that strive, contend with me, fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. It says, let them be confounded that put to shame and to, that seek after my soul. You have Esau, Edom being our chief enemy. That rest of the two-thirds behind us too. These different robots, Esau, Edom, God, they're going to try to come to destroy us. It says, let them be turned back and brought to confusion that brought the device or think my heart. All right, which that device is Kheshav in Hebrew. All right. My hurt. Rai. Okay. My evil or something. Read on. And it says. And for without cause have they hid for me their net. In a pit which without cause they have digged for my soul. The, the different traps which they got is. These different robots. Okay. Which will come up against you. It says let destruction come upon him. At unawares. And let his net that he. Hath hid. Catch himself into that very destruction. Let him fall. And the thing is that. The Lord is going to. Upset the plans of these devils. Because when they send these different things. The Lord is going to. As it tell you. In the scriptures in Isaiah, I believe. Let me see if I can remember Isaiah. Either 59 or 58. I'm just going to try to exercise my memory. The best of my ability. See left. So I can give me a wee moment. Yeah, it's Isaiah fifty nine and nineteen. So memory's there, I just didn't see it. It says here So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the West here. Right, which are in the West in America in his glory from the rise of the sun. Alright, which is in the east. Okay. Yahweh Shai gonna come from the east, appear in the valley of Yahweh Shapat. Alright. And fight all the rest of the plead the cause of the nation of Israel, destroy these heathen. because uh, they're gonna be gathered there for the war of Armageddon, Armageddon. This is uh you go into the, the what's it the uh the, the valley of troops. Yeah, the uh the the land of decision as such. Alright, it says when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. Yeah, and the enemy is definitely Esau Edom. Gonna uh, come in like a flood, okay, which you got in the har. A flood. Okay, which Metafiguratively, uh, it speaks about um, streams and rivers. Okay, but they're gonna come like a flood, like it's gonna come with them, like a, a rushing. Okay, so many of them, uh, enemies. Uh, it says here, lift up a standard against him. But you got Nawas in Hebrew. Okay, you got here, uh, standard. You have uh, a lot of different things. This is talking about spiritual spiritual power to vanish away and lift up a standard, put to flight, to flee from any person or thing. Okay, the Lord is going to give us power to obviously destroy them that, of course, try to come up against us okay 
Y'all rats is I. We be the men. And we have to have this power in order to withstand against this devil because look at the different weapons they got. You know, these robots, which, you know, of course they're going to have, um, or they have abilities to sense out via the different heat recognition, recon, night vision, heat re recognition. They, you could, of course, uh, bulletproof. They have all different types of um, armor, as you can see. And... And it's going to be ruthless, where you have uh, soldiers are fleshly, even though this is a carnal machine, but you have it where they are uh, programmed to hit the mark, okay, where they would be more accurate than the actual man, okay? So, yeah, this is a very serious thing. We ought to, of course, pray to have that defense, that ganon, you know, that coverance, to be able to fight against these different things. Alright, to have that in Yahweh Shai, that is, okay? You know, we have to wait on the Lord for it. And we have to have, you have faith that he will do it, okay? So, um, let me see if I got another scripture. That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to close out. Uh, first of all, I want to give all praises again to Yahweh Shai, my Shai, Bishim, and Kodash, and the blindness to the elders and apostles, a great millstone who were well. Um, don't be deceived, you know, the robot, they robots do exist, they exist, and, you know, regardless if you have a dude, all, it fit it, to, um, to mimic one, the, the actual robots, they exist, they do exist, alright, and don't be deceived, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, us, um, of the election. Alright, so hopefully I edify Shalom to the elect Shalom.